identify the intermaxillary wiring technique used in the image. So if you want to appreciate it, uh, you'll be able to see these are the small eyelets and you can see some wires from the distal aspect are being threaded in these eyelets, right? So there are eyelets, one observation, second observation from distal side, there are threaded wires, threaded wires which have been threaded in these eyelets and then these two eyelets have been secured by but uh, vertical or we can say the straight ligature wires okay so that is the kind of intermaxillary wiring technique which we have seen here so this is nothing but your iv eyelet which goes by the common sense as well right so i'll give you a very brief idea about this how to form the eyelet you'll be forming an eyelet and then from the buccal side towards the lingual side or the palatal side you'll be uh, uh, bringing uh, the two wires through the interdental area from the buccal to lingual side, right? Then what will you be doing? You will be uh, bringing these wires, one of the wires will be coming from this side and another wire will be coming from this side like this so that it can make a round around the two teeth and then we will be bringing these from the distal as well as the mesial uh, first interdental area, right? After that what we will be doing the distal wire will be threaded into this IV loop okay and that's how you are going to do this and then you will be having certain wires that will be uh, uh, threaded into these eyelets and these will be secured to do the intermaxillary fixation. Sometimes we don't give the V shaped pattern or the this V shaped pattern is further uh, you know enhanced and uh, tensioned and it forms uh, later it will be becoming like this the two eyelets will be there and then straight wires will be there that will be securing the maxilla and mandible together. Now uh, yes this looks quite haphazard so uh, we will be looking at the extended IV eyelet method that is a new technique for maxillomandibular fixation and why we are doing this because it is not only secure the maxilla and mandible it does not only secure or makes the mandible immobile but also it gives a very good uh, splinting effect to the teeth as well right so if the teeth are mobile in the accident then you can go for the extended eyelet method and that will explain you a better overview of this so in this the step one will be yes uh, you will be making an eye okay eyelet will be made and then you will be putting this from outside from the buccal side to the lingual or palatal side right then you will be bringing in the step two you will be bringing the wires one around the distal tooth and another from the interdental area of the mesial first tooth right after that these two this particular distal one will be threaded into the eyelet okay so in the step 3 you will be threading the distal wire through the eyelet and the another wire will be passed through the interdental area and it will be brought uh, on the buccal aspect itself and these two are wound again we will be doing the winding of these two wires right and from both the sides these wires will be taken the winded wires and these will be attached with each other or wound with each other right so this is one securing method in the steps is what will you be doing you will be bringing uh, ligature wires and these wires will be passed through the interdental area around a single tooth so both the interdental areas and then you will be securing this particular wire with these two ligature wires after we have done with this okay after it is uh, quite well wound with the, uh, the ligature wires then what will you be doing in the step 8 you will be passing v shaped wires okay these wires will be passed to secure the upper and lower uh, jaws right and then finally you will be winding these wires okay so this is the extended iv method and uh, eyelet method and that seems to be the most uh, uh, you know hot thing that can be asked in exam so coming back to the question here you have IV eyelet method uh, which has already been discussed. So the correct answer is going to be your option 1 that is IV eyelet.